One of the most empowering things for me as a teacher, an instructor, a coach is, is watching my students transform. And that doesn't even necessarily have to be a physical transformation. I see students come into class and you can just read it on their face that they feel like they had the aha moment. They feel strong, they feel level-headed. It's the reason that I do this. Have completely redefined this term of being grounded. I like to begin every day. I wake up, I take care of my amazing one-year-old English Bulldog. She's the cutest thing ever. Her name's Penny. Feed her, take her out, come back, have a little bit of breakfast, make a playlist, and I just feel like I can really tackle my day. Hi, my name is Chelsea Foss, and I am going to teach you how to do the perfect push-up and reverse push-up for the Athletic Sweat Series with Well and Good. First, come down to the floor. I'll show you three different variations for this exercise, ranging on difficulty. I'll start with the most difficult, on your toes, my personal favorite. Place your hands underneath your shoulders, angle your fingertips slightly in, and this will protect your wrists. Walk your toes back behind you until they end up behind your hip joints. Squeeze your glutes, tuck your tailbone underneath your spine, by now you should feel a slight engagement in your quads as well, and lift your abs. Spread your shoulder blades away from one another so your upper back is domed. Make sure you're breathing. Second option, keep your hands exactly where they are, but drop down to your knees and pull your heels towards your glutes. This way your hamstrings will stay turned on. If you have any sort of wrist or shoulder issue, you can always perform these against a wall, working on a slight angle, and for a little bit more difficulty, maybe walk your feet back slightly. You can do them flat-footed or you can do them on your toes. For the sake of this video, I will do them on my toes because like I said, that's my personal favorite. So come into position. We're gonna start with 10 full range push-ups, do 10 pulses, and then hold for a count of 10. And you can move along with me at your own pace. Feel free to drop down to your knees at any time. And if it's too much, you can do them against a wall. Okay, again, tuck under, lift your abs, dome your upper back. Ready, here we go. Move down up, two, make sure that you keep your shoulders spread apart, four, squeeze your glutes, five, six, seven, eight, get ready to pulse, nine, now sink and pulse for ten. One, two, breathe, three, four, five, six, seven, we're gonna hold, eight, nine, now hold and breathe, retuck, lift your abs, Spread your shoulders apart, maybe just sink a little bit lower. Uh, I think that was 10. Okay, push up. Oh, now we get to stretch, okay. Separate your knees to hips width. Slide your hands up in front of you. Press your chest to the floor, arch your back. Make sure that you're reaching your tailbone up and your thighs are vertical. Breathe in and then out and push down a little bit lower. And then sit back on your heels for a shoulder stretch. Turn your palms up, walk your hands out so they're a little bit wider than your shoulders. And then same thing, breathe in. And then exhale, and then round up. You finished your push-ups. Next, we're gonna move around to the back of your arm and your triceps for reverse push-ups. Some people are familiar with these with tricep dips, but for the sake of this, let's consider it a push-up. Sit down, separate your feet to hips width. Place your hands underneath your shoulders again, but this time, point your fingers towards your heels with a slight turn out. Lift your seat up. Shift your weight back until your shoulders align with your wrists and tuck your seat up about a foot in front of your hands. Now instead of doming your back, pull your shoulders towards one another so your chest lifts, lengthen your neck, and look forward. Soften your elbows right back behind you and simply start to move down and up. Down and up. Your range is gonna be about an inch. Let's do five more. One, two, three, four. And now just like before, pulse. Down, 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 do six more. One, two, a little lower, three, lift your seat, four, five, and now hold. Lift your chest again, keep a soft pin in your arms for the most advanced option. Straighten one leg at a time, pulse to 20, switch halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, switch legs, 10 more. One, two, three, chest up, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and release. And we get to stretch again. Sit up, really tall. Breathe in, lift your chest. And then exhale, reach your arms overhead. Bend one arm at a time. Hold onto your elbow. Sit up tall, smile. Bend sideways. 
pull your arm back just gently. You just hold for a minute, get that in your waist as well. And then reach back up, switch arms. Sit up, breathe, then sideways. Pull your arm back and then release. Thank you so much, you guys. That was the perfect push-up and reverse push-up. Have fun.